has been a leader as a member of our board of directors, our community board, and currently as co-chair of the One Fund Committee. She has been instrumental in shaping One Fund to ensure that it is equitable and impactful. We are grateful to her daughter, Danny, and husband, David, for sharing her with us and joining her as part of the Emerald City Theater family. Danny, it has been a joy to watch you grow up in our theater programs. Stephanie's passion has inspired scores of others to participate. She can shape a few heartfelt words into a Facebook post asking dear friends to support. And before we know it, she has started this new mini campaign at the last minute that of course is wildly successful and in a matter of minutes, we've hit our $75,000 fundraising goal. That's Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie will be the first to volunteer to help give out books and to receive a hug from a child. And while I know that she is proud of the nearly 100,000 students that we've served to date, she pushes us to do more. And Stephanie, we are not done. We will do more together, but for right now, we're gonna pause so we can thank you. Please join me in congratulating the 2018 recipient of the One Fund Supporter Award, Stephanie Free. I'd also like to thank Jessica Dunn, co-chair of the One Fund Committee, and our fellow committee members, many of whom are in the room this evening and have served with us for many years. I'd like to thank the hardworking and thoughtful team in Emerald City. Their dedication and passion is truly inspiring. Last but definitely not least, I thank my husband, Dave. Without his support, I wouldn't be standing here today. Thank you, Dave. And of course, my beautiful daughter, Danny, who we've all met, I think, already this evening. <laughs> it's truly been my pleasure volunteering. I love theater and have a shared desire to promote theater and increase literacy in our low-income neighborhoods. One Fund provides a creative and educational, professional theater experience to scores of children who rarely or have never left their neighborhood, and to many children who have never seen any type of theater performance before. I remember the one fun performance of Magic Treehouse, a night in New Orleans, about Louis Armstrong. A child who had never seen musical theater before asked, do people really walk around singing to each other? <laughs> he had too much disbelief on his face. Um, another one fun winner, Whittier Elementary from Pilsen, didn't have theater space to host a performance, and their school building was deteriorating. Principal Willette from Londell Community Academy kindly offered to share his auditorium as they were both one fun winners. I was standing outside the auditorium doors as the children from Whittier entered the hallway. The look on their faces made me pause. Two girls turned to me and said, it is so beautiful. I asked, have you been in an auditorium before? They shook their heads no, said never. One of the girls then said, it's so clean. It's so pretty. I learned a lot in that moment. Partners like the Wood Family Foundation have connected us with educators who have experience and knowledge to make sure the programs we serve are truly helpful in Chicago's underserved neighborhoods like Lawndale. During our annual community input meetings, we learned things like toxic stress, which is an actual medical condition and affects many, if not all, children and families living in neighborhoods like Lawndale, Inglewood, Austin, and more. It's extremely difficult to learn when living in a state of toxic stress. Maybe for one hour, a theater performance can reduce a little bit of their stress, and maybe they will learn a new vocabulary word or two. And with this experience, improve comprehension because they can compare a visual learning experience with a new book. Thanks to partners like KPMG Family for Literacy, we give each one fun winning student a brand new book. 
According to our research and President Obama's Community Service Initiative, United We Serve, there's one age-appropriate book for every 300 children in low-income communities. In contrast, middle-income communities, children have an average 13 age-appropriate books per child. Just think about one book for 300 children. The age group Emerald City's one fun target is an extremely important time of life. Up until third grade, kids learn to read. Starting in fourth grade, kids read to learn. I heard the statistic, 50% of Chicago's third graders are not at reading level, 50%. If I could share one more brief story, after the performance of Knuckle Bunny, I asked two bilingual children what their favorite part of their show was. One child said, I loved it all. The other said, when Trixie said, caca. <laughs> they giggled. I genuinely responded, isn't that a swear word? Truly, I thought it was, and I was going to speak to Jackie or Jamal about this. But they replied, nope, it just means poop. <laughs> we all chuckled. I also learned a new vocabulary word that day. I know Ms. Soto will share with you more on the effects of the program, but what I can say is, I see the smiles, hear the appreciation and the laughter, and I've had the pleasure of being told I love you quite a few times. Doesn't get much better than that. Thank you for your time.